What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another Grey's Anatomy episode reaction. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 11. Let's go. Once I get situated here. Yes, let's go. Okay. Oh my god, she snores Good like morning. that? <laughs> Are you watching me sleep? Maybe. I'm going to use some kind of weirdo who watches women sleep. <laughs> Is he? What? I just dropped eight point seven million dollars on the floor. And? Oh, she don't even care. I shouldn't be able to drop eight point seven million dollars on the floor. Cash the check, lady. You need to deposit that check. Right. George, any chance you're misplacing your anxiety on me and my check? That check ruins my morning every morning. It belongs in the bank. Would you just please <laughs> put it in the bank? Please? No. If you're nice to me for the next seven minutes, I will give you a ride to work. You don't deserve $8.7 million. Mm. How's Burke doing? Oh, that I don't that know. Buddy, that she doesn't check. Girl, just had bye. Yesterday and you don't know Girl, bye. Doing. They're not speaking. I thought they made up. They did sort of. Not Anybody out there? He's anybody out there watching, me. let They're me know if each. you would okay. not put it in the Thank bank and why you would not. I would love to hear why. Judgy. Oh, uh, who's presenting? Oh, can Georgie do it? He's real good. Yeah! yeah. Georgie, yeah! You're not, come on. I'm nervous Harold about this 63. whole Status, situation. Status, post-aortic valve replacement. Morning chest x-ray showed no atelectasis after aggressive CPT for the last two days. That's it. Oh, yeah. few minutes I think it would be best if the extended family could wait out in the waiting room. Oh. A few minutes, guys, then you can come back. Oh. How are you feeling, Mr. O'Malley? He's feeling great. Uh, after the surgery, uh, then when do we start chemo and stuff? It depends on what we find when we open you up, Harold. What do you mean, what you find? There's only so much they can tell from labs and scans, so they really need to get a good look inside to see if the cancer has spread. That changes how much chemo he needs. I'll let the oncologist explain that to you later today, Harold. Dr. Brooks' hand, has he had any tremors? That's confidential. Oh, but I'm, I'm one of his doctors. You're also his girlfriend. Ask him yourself. Yeah. Preston Burke, post-op day one from IND. That's of annoying. Compressive hematoma to the brachial plexus. Ask about the hand. Dr. Yang, yeah. something you want to share with the rest of us? No, ma'am. Just Sorry. ask the question if you want to ask the Look question. Good, Preston. O'Malley, your father's surgery is today? Tomorrow. You okay, honey? Yeah. Scoliosis. Looks like a birth defect. Looks like hell. That sucks. What are you all staring at? Oh, she's really, um. Really, if you're expecting me to be the brave and heartwarming, differently abled girl, that isn't gonna happen. So she's go ahead and do your thing. From something. So is the mom. Stevens. Oh wow. Heather Douglas, 17, past medical history of Vader syndrome. Vader syndrome is. A genetic condition that affects the vertebrae, anus, trachea, esophagus, and renal system. She memorized the whole acronym, which I assure you is a hell of a lot easier than living with it. Wow. Can I ask? I, I know I'm just supposed to be here to remove a few ribs, but I'm wondering if you've ever tried anything more radical? If by more radical, you mean having a steel rod inserted into my spine, then yeah, we should try it. Removing the kidney stones may seem minor, but it will really improve your quality of life. So this surgery is going to get me laid? Heather. Damn. I mean, Laura Gray Thompson, born four days ago with jejunal artresia. That's corrected that's surgically. Tough. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? Her mom and grandma have the flu, and they asked me to get an update. I'll just come back a little later. Oh my God, that's awkward. Gray? Um, uh, Laura Gray Thompson um, had some dilation on the bowel. Damn. That sucks, man. Having to face somebody that basically walked out on you, gave up on you, started a new family, O'Malley, replaced this week, you essentially, or tried to. Karev. O'Malley. Yes. You taking the rest of this week off? Yes, ma'am. May as well take today, too. Spend some time with your family. Thank you. You know, sometimes we, with families, we coddle them. It would help me if you were straight with me as things progress. OK. Thank you. Doc, Dr. Bailey, I know that I'm supposed to prep her only, but any chance I can scrub in on Heather Douglas? No. I am ready. 
Your psychiatrist is not giving you an all clear. I have done everything he has asked me to do. Did you deposit the check? Deposit my inheritance check, which wait, exactly. you have not deposited a nearly nine million dollar check. He is being unreasonable. What's unreasonable is that you're losing thousands of dollars a day in interest. That's unreasonable. You clearly are not reasonable yet, which I think is the point your psychiatrist is trying to make. Okay. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> Damn. Why well, wouldn't I be? Your father freezing up on rounds. Oh God, that was mortifying. Thank you. Oh, okay. It wasn't mortifying. I just wish Pretty mortifying. the baby would get well and go home and Thatcher would go with her. Is that wrong? Wrong would be if you wish the baby wouldn't get well. Okay, good. You know, if you want to thank me, um, you could ask Derek if Burke has had any tremors. Talk to him. No. Oh my God. Karev, what did I tell you about how I like my charts? I like to round on pre-op before post-op. Do you like wasting my time? Is it fun for you? Do you why like are you so using good looking? Terms? Is it fun for you? You don't get the high horse this week, Addison. Not this week. It's Why nice. not this week? Not this week. You know Shepard pretty well, yeah? Lots of Why? hair, too many women. Likes elevators and long walks on the beach. So, um, what's the best way to get him to do something? A consult that the patient hasn't requested, but that the friendly neighborhood ortho resident thinks is worth pursuing. He'll say no until you stare him down. Stare him down. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I love Bailey. <laughs> I say it every episode. You're way too hot to be a doctor. Okay. Ooh. Aren't people who look like you supposed to be dumb? Wow. <laughs> You're not going to be in my surgery, are you? I'm a little too young to die. I will not be in on your surgery. You're not even a doctor. I am a doctor. When my uh, fiance dropped dead not too long ago, I went a little nuts and uh, no surgeries for me for a while. Well, so much for my theory that I mean, I don't know if I people. would call it he dropped dead. I'm sorry I was such a bitch to you. You're in pain. Sometimes I'm a bitch for no good reason at all. <laughs> uh, Dr. Shepard? Yes. I'm so sorry to bother you. I know you're very, very busy, but there's a girl here. She's 17 years old. She's bent over at 90 degrees, which clearly sucks. Clearly sucks. Is that your professional assessment? My professional assessment is that we can help her. Nope. <laughs> I'll come by for a concert in the morning. <laughs> oh, good stare. That's hilarious. Stare Doctors, down. Did I get a word? The oncologist. He said that uh, if the cancer is in other organs, he said that maybe you wouldn't proceed with the surgery. That's right, Errol. So if you close me up and then send me home, I get what? Weeks or months, yes. No, you got to take the tumor out. Mr. O'Malley, it, it's just not a good idea. My wife, to... we've been married 40 years. I make her crazy. She needs me. My family needs me. I can't let you close me up and then tell them that there's nothing that can be done when I know I can fight it. I want you to take the tumor out. My job is to do the best I can for you medically. After oh, that... Closing me up and sending me home to die isn't best for me. All right. I mean, this falls under confidentiality. If you're asking if you can tell his son, the answer is no. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> you're watching me sleep again. You're cute when you sleep. What can I say? Why are you always up before the alarm? I'm a light sleeper. So something woke you up. Your snoring no big deal. doesn't let him sleep. <laughs> you snore a little. What? I do not. Yes, you do. I, I love it. I find it charming that such a big noise can come from such a little person. <laughs> do you know what's not charming? What? Your morning breath. <laughs> Sorry. What? Seeing how you're always up before me, you might consider brushing your teeth. They're cute. Surgeries today? Yeah. I, I have a really good feeling. I didn't even bake anything for you. Oh my God, put the damn check in the damn bank, lady. Come on. <coughs> what the hell is this, Karev Vanilla? Are you trying to poison me or are you just trying to make my day a little bit worse? Mark. You no, know, if you can't handle coffee, you can't handle plastics. Maybe you ought to head back to the gyne squad where life was all squishy and pink. 
squishy and pink. Wow. Though it may be, I have an amazing surgery today, Krav, if you want in. Good morning, Dr. Burke. Feeling good? Not too much pain? Feeling great. And your hand. Feeling good today? You're gonna have to tell Dr. Yang that I'm not ready to give her that information. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. You know Christina's stock in your room. I do. The surgery my dad's having has a 50% morbidity rate. Well, Mally, it means 50% of the people who undergo the surgery survive. If you're gonna hang your hat on statistics, then you have to look at them from both sides. Heather, and I know you've been through a lot of very painful, I hope he's okay. very successful surgeries. But if you're up for it, I think I could significantly help with the spinal curvature. You mean what exactly? I mean, I think I can get you standing up straight. It's not nice to mock cripple kids. You see this this curved part here? I'd remove it. You, you want to remove a portion of my daughter's spine? Mm-hmm. I've seen case studies. There have been quite a few successes. Mm -hmm. and, and the ones that aren't successful? They result in paralysis or death. But Dr. Shepard is the best there is. I know you still think death is the worst thing that can happen to a person. Death is not the worst thing. I'm in. They're going to wow. cut out a piece of her spine. Heather Douglas. And? It's a once-in-a-lifetime surgery. Please. I would really like to scrub in. Did you deposit the check? It's my money. In the time we've been standing here, you could have just made $400. Dr. Bailey. Is it's it not really reasonable, that much? Stevens. Just go deposit the check so you can get some surgeries from Bailey. Shit. I'm sorry about running over Bucky. What? Your dog. I ran over him and I told you he ran away. You ran over my dog on purpose? Of course not. Oh. You were. So sensitive. You were such a soft kid. I couldn't bear to tell you. I wasn't soft. You were kind and you loved animals and you were always looking to help people. So Georgie. I told you a lie. Okay. Oh, <laughs> You're a good kid, Georgie. He's so cute. <laughs> always been such a good kid. Stop acting like you're dying. You're not dying, okay? I want to tell you that I think you're crazy if you let that Callie get away. Dad, please. No, she gets you. <laughs> Dad, stop it. Stop apologizing, stop saying goodbye. There's no way to go into surgery. We're all gonna die, and lying here in this bed gives me time to think about all the things I haven't said is all. Okay. Nothing you wanna say to me? Dad! <laughs> Dog murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's not funny, but it's funny. Tell me what I wanna not hear. Not funny, but it's if funny. If I die, you'll kill me. It's a quick study. Meredith. Hello. Hello. No. I'm, Go. How are you? Good. You better uh, busy without this we have a patient. conversation. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Everybody. Hi. 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 All right. Hi. 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 Uh, nice seeing you. Okay. So awkward. Is that your ex-boyfriend? That's my ex-father. <laughs> Good exposure to the esophageal hiatus. Yes, sir. <gasps> Those are the mats, right? It's everywhere. So that's it? We're closing them back up? No. We will proceed. But I thought... The patient asked us to proceed. What does that mean exactly? This man asked for a chance to fight. What it means is he's going to have to fight like hell. But he can recover? There's a chance? Dr. Gray, the request from the patient. Was private? Yes. Okay. Preston. Oh, Addison. How are you feeling? Better. I'm looking forward to going home. Well, I'm sure Dr. Yang is looking forward to having you back there as well. Uh, maybe I wouldn't know. Why wouldn't you know? Is that over? No, it's not over. It's just silent. So you're not talking to her. Why not? Did you ever play say uncle? Someone bends your arm behind your back harder and harder until you say uncle. And then what happens? <laughs> then they have all the power. You've never played say uncle. I see. So you are not saying uncle. Everybody yes. has. And neither is she. That's pathetic. If you say something wrong, then you apologize. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Did she? She doesn't seem to think so. It's pathetic. Pathetic. That's pathetic. You're all alone. Where's your family? Eating. They like to eat. Oh. Hmm. You're pacing. It's okay to be scared. I'm not scared. I'm just saying, if you are, you I'm can talk scared. to me. You sure about that? 
Oh, she going to do the stare down with. <laughs> okay, now I'm scared of you. Damn it. I was staring you down. It worked on Shepard. Seriously? Wait, wait, let me try it again. <laughs> no? Uh, you should prepare yourself because this is a much more extensive surgery than the heart valve. Be prepared. Welcome back, sweetheart. Like lost, you thought me a beautiful. He knows he didn't prepare himself. So. You need to breathe. He's my dad. Mountains they pointed up. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> How did you deal with it for all those nights before I found out about your wife? He usually sleeps on the couch, sets an alarm, gets back in bed before you wake up. I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do more than hurt your feelings. <laughs> that's sweet, though, I think. <laughs> I think that's sweet. Put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. I inherited eight million dollars. I'm sorry. Almost nine, actually. I'm sorry. Did you say? Just take it, please. So she like. Is that? So it's like a way of hanging it's on. Covered in food. To him. Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> it is kind of a really cruel joke. I'm sorry. You want to deposit this? I wanted to deposit it. Do you think that I would look like this? I don't understand. I'm supposed to do something good and... Can you just deposit the damn thing already? I'm surprised they proceeded with the surgery. Me too. I guess I think he has a strong enough constitution to fight the cancer. Is he conscious? Still intubated, so they have him sedated. The main concern for the next few days will be multi-system organ failure. You want to watch the kidneys, because if the kidneys fail, that's a sign that everything else is starting to go. So we're watching the kidneys. You're watching the kidneys. Thank you. Uh, do you mind me asking, uh, how's your hand? I don't mind if you ask. I will mind if you tell Christina. Oh. You two have a strange relationship? Yes, we do. And when you go home, you're going to be oh, very little home. babe. Yes, you do. <laughs> you need something? No, I'm fine. You're the one that pays me? I started my shift 10 minutes ago. Noticed her stomach looked a little distended. Her stomach's distended? Page Dr. Montgomery's stat. Everything okay? Is this bad? Well, let's just wait for Dr. Montgomery. My father's here. Your father? The one I don't talk to and barely know. He's huh. here. Is he huh. here to see you? No. He's here with his other family. Oh, sorry. He, I love his face. Where do you sleep at the trailer? You know the hammock. Outside. I'm a girl with abandonment issues. You have to sleep with me from now on. Okay. With earplugs, maybe? A note from my hack of a shrink I get to scrub in. I deposited the damn check. You cheap son of a bitch bastards are going straight to hell. Straight to hell! Ms. Douglas? Insurance bastards. They won't pay. It's a $200,000 surgery. Even if I get three jobs. Looks like there won't be a surgery to scrub in on. Sorry, Steven. Her abdomen was distended and she needed to She's going to pay for it. I'm sorry, so I was talking to her. Izzy's going to pay for it. She's got massive free air trapped beneath her diaphragm. We need to get Laura into surgery. What? Another surgery? Why? There's a perforation in the bowel. We need to get in there right away. Take out more of the bowel. I need better visualization. It's so tiny, I'm afraid I might crush it. Oh, She's hypotensive. No. Push 30 cc's of albumin. That's good. You're telling me. It says Meredith Gray's niece. Your uh, father's pacing up and down the halls. Fuck him. She don't want to talk to him. He's worried. So? Maybe you can give him an update. No. He's not a big fan of mine. He's not a big fan of mine either. Your mother was a force to be reckoned with. I'm saying your father was a good man when I knew him. He may have a side in this that you don't know anything about. No. Nope. Mm -mm. What's he doing? Uh, Georgie's obsessed with our dad's pee. I'm obsessed with his kidney function, not his pee. I'm not obsessed. I'm excited. 130 cc's of shiny yellow urine. And how long? Four hours. No way! That is fantastic! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, Thank okay. You. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry you're hurting. You're sorry I'm hurting or you're sorry? 
Krav. Oh, hey. I was uh, just checking the baby's mm -hmm. capillary fills. So. No, it's good. It's good. We'll need a little human contact he from time to time. Wants to be a baby it doctor. Sucks. You're right. It does suck, but then when you get to see a baby heal and um, they get to go home, well, there's nothing better than that. And that part never changes. But if you want to go back to plastics. Nah. The vanilla latte? I did that on purpose. Why? Because he was rude to you. Oh, are you too? Oh. I'm uh, sorry. No, oh, I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Alex and Go Addison. Need some help? I can walk to the bathroom myself. I've been doing it my whole life and nothing's changing anytime soon, so just get out of my way, okay? If the world is a turn and your heart won't return anyone, and you Y'all are literally just laying there staring at each other. <laughs> I could not believe she snores like to be continued. I feel like if it's a to be continued, that shit's going to hit the fan. Can you believe Alex Karev and Addison Montgomery Shepard or just Montgomery? What? Oh my God. But I don't blame her because Alex is kind of growing on me too. And I might have, I mean, I'd be down for it as well. This episode was really good. Um, emotional as always, funny. I just love this show. I love these characters. I'm glad Izzy finally deposited that check. I feel like she's probably going to help pay for the homegirl surgery, which is awesome. I feel that she said she wanted to do good things with the money. So that makes sense. And I can't wait to see what happens on the next one. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you soon. Bye.